I've been um, making these little whirly gig things again and I thought I might run through the process of how I've made them. Unfortunately we don't have an awful lot of wind today so we can't really see well this one the magpie is going on oh, and there Roselle is going to start to go. Anyway I'm um, not entirely happy with the rosella for a number of little things. A, it's made out of very thin material and I'm going to go through the process of making another one made of thicker material similar to this one I made from or the magpie out of. I found this, um, this scrap piece, or rather Kay got it from somewhere. It's a two inch or 50 mil wide um, and because of my template that I used to make the other one, the depth I need is, um, oh, well, what's that one there? I can't, just give me a pick and I'll tell you what it is. This is um, 200 millimetres wide, so it's 50 by 200, or roughly 2 inch by 8 inch for those who still cling to the imperial system. You may not see it but I've already traced the profile you can see that little bit there and the tail down here and I've already started to make some cuts with the bandsaw to trim this out and get the, the rough shape. So we'll continue on with bandsaw work until I get the shape cut out. I shall turn the bandsaw on but I won't go through the process because I've got no way to hold this and try and do it at the same time and I have to follow those lines pretty rigidly so we're going and I'll I just sort of make a series of slots. And then come back in at another angle and cut them out. Okay. The um, bandsaw work is basically done. We've we've cut the silhouette out. Now I have to go to my trusty sander and sand all the rough edges off and then we'll proceed to the next step. Right, sander. <laughs> Sanding has been done. I've filled, I found a little knot hole in here and we'll fill that up with a little bit of um, uh, wood filler and I'll give that a bit of a re-sand but the profile is done. Now I'm on to the wings and I have these two things here and I shall show you what happens with those. Previously I cut out these shapes and they're taped together and we'll show, I'll pull them apart and I'll show you what happens with them. I cut a slot, opposing slots on each of these blocks and the wings actually fit in here. It's a little bit slack. But that's the idea. So we'll glue them in and then I'll drill the holes through. Okay, we have um, a set of wings glued. Now they're drying in position. We'll let them dry and then we'll continue on with the process. And now begins the painting process. So, now we'll drink, drill the wings.
drill the hole for the wings to go into. Now with the wings fitted, I now measure, that's about 20 mil gap. This is to give the wings and the uh, paddles, that's uh, some clearance, so about 20 mil of a tube that fits over there. This is a piece of um, aluminium tube from Bunnings and it's um, 10 millimetres and the rod fits right inside so the tube acts as a washer and also gives it a bit of clearance so we'll cut that bit off or two of those now with the washers fitted in here I now need to just leave enough uh, material here to be able to drill a very small hole for a split pin and the same amount on the other side so if we look at that we'll measure that and say that's about 10 mil so we'll give it about 10 mil on the other side and I shall mark that and cut that rod to length so now what we need to do is just drill this or pilot hole in here and one in the other end for our split pins. Now in order to fit these what we do is we obviously just put the split pin in and we open that up and the collar goes on there then the, the wings are on and it then goes into the body of the bird but before we do that we will paint the wings. Okay well we have the wings painted now so we will just start to assemble it. Hopefully this is coming out on, on the, uh, the video and then in there like that we put the collar on one wing here through split pin open split pin up if I can hold that end turn around collar There will be some touching up of paint, of course. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I'm doing this by hand, I should probably use a tool, but anyway. There we go. You're not going to come out, are you? Yeah. There we have a Rosella. I have also just drilled this hole for the base, the swivel part, 
which is just basically centered above the axle for the wings. Now I have prepared the spike earlier and we'll just put this on here like so. That's not quite level but who cares. Now they spin Yes, they're going to spin if we get some wind, which we haven't, but anyway, and this is not quite perpendicular, but this is only temporary. Okay, so there we have it. That's how it works. Spin, come on. And there we have it. I, um, I fixed this little one that I wasn't happy with because one of the um, uh, wings was a little bit offset and I filled the hole and re-drilled and it's a lot better. But there we are. Something to do on a New Year's Day 2022. I've got far too much time on my hands. <laughs>